Here's a demo of the bridge using an Arkanoid controller technique. So for those that don't know, the actual Arkanoid game would look at player number two. If it saw the Arkanoid paddle data, it would allow you to use the paddle. If you tried to plug it into player one, it wouldn't work. Um, alternatively, you could use the controller to play the game. So during development of the bridge, we figured wouldn't it be nice to use an analog controller and have the, the stick act as a paddle. So the way that the bliss blocks in the bridge work is first it looks at the controller and says, all right, is it a digital controller with no analog or does it have analog? And then it also look at the controller and say, was it a dial, like an Atari paddle, the Arkanoid controller, the Bali controller, all those had a, a turnable dial. So it looks at that first. It'll use that if it's there. If that's absent, then it looks at the analog controller. If that's there, um, that analog will be your, your left main stick, or whatever is acting as the main stick. And then if that is not there, um, the last option would be the, the normal controller. So the game won't let me use the select or the start, so it, it's pretty sure that this is an analog controller, and next it's going to try to figure out if it's uh, the dial or just the controller. Um, so in that case, the A button is mapped to the button that would be on the, the Arkanoid controller. So you can tap that to begin. Now once this starts, since this is a forced position stick, it's going to be in the center of the screen. But as you can see, you can actually use it as if it were a paddle and play the game. And if I had the Atari uh, paddles hooked up, it'd be doing the same thing just with the paddle. And same with the Arkanoid controller and all the other options that we have out there. Uh, incidentally, the pause button won't work in this case because there's, the game is smart enough to realize, well, there's no start button on the paddle. So you don't get that option in, in this scenario. But if you wanted that, you could unplug this controller and plug it back in and make sure not to touch the stick. It would force it to digital mode. It would ignore the analog response, and then you'd be able to use it as a controller. And as soon as you move the stick, it says, ah, this is an analog controller. I'm going to go ahead and put it in paddle mode. But uh, there we go. That's just kind of a demo of um, some of the cool stuff that the bridge is going to be able to do.